Hi, everybody. Welcome to Math 110 College Algebra this summer. My name is Mr. Chan, and I will be your instructor for this class. So thank you so much for clicking on the 110 Welcome and Syllabus video. So in this video, I will show you how to navigate uh, D2L, and I will show you how to um, discuss how you proceed in this class. And we will also go over the very first assignment called the Homework Syllabus. All right. So basic navigation, uh, click on Content. So once you click on content, the very left column, this is your table of content, it displays every week. And okay, uh, everything that you need to know is within, uh, it's actually under the course, um, under the table of content. So if I just click on any week, so generally speaking, every week, what student will do is print or copy down the lecture handout. If you want to print the lecture handout, click on the handout and click on download. Once you download, open up the Word document and print and print your lecture handouts from Word document. Okay. If you don't have a printer at home, you can just copy down everything that you see on the handout. So once you print or copy down the handout, use the handout and actually take notes while you watch the lecture video. So every week you have lecture videos that's in YouTube or in MP4. This, this is exactly the same video, just in two different format. So if I click on any one of these um, video, you're gonna see this exact the same thing that you see that's on the handout. So use the handout, okay? And use the handout to watch the lecture video and take notes while you watch the lecture videos. So what? So the lecture handout is empty, and I need you to handwrite, okay, everything that um, everything that I show you. That's on the lecture video. So every week, the first thing you do is print or copy down what's on the lecture handout. Use the lecture handout to take notes while you're watching the lecture video. Once you finish watching the lecture videos, then you can begin to do your homework. So some homework has computer portion, some homework has both computer and the handwritten portion. So when you run into homework that has both portion, what I need you to do is print or copy down what's on the handwritten portion first, then open the computer portion so you can do both portion back and forth. So topic 12, for example, the handwritten portion started with question number two. So that means question number one and other questions will be on the computer portion. So that's why I need you to print or copy down the handwritten portion first, then open the computer portion so you can do both portion back and forth. So if you click on preview, then you will see it. So question number one is on the computer portion where you will enter the answer here. Question number two is on the handwritten portion. So inside this box, you simply type in handwritten. So once you complete both portion, submit the computer portion first, then upload the handwritten portion into the Dropbox. So if I go back to that, so if I go back here to top it nine through 12, and scroll down a little bit, you're going to see there are there's a Dropbox for the handwritten portion. So some homework has both portions, some homework only has computer portion. So for the computer portion, you just enter the answer um, inside D2L. Every week, you will also have one note taken that you need to turn in. So for this week, you're supposed to take notes on topic 9 through 12, but you will only need to turn in topic 12. So the name of the Dropbox tell you which notes you need to turn in. So the so you take notes for all the topic for the week, but you only turn in one topic worth of notes. So again, the notes that you take, the homework handwritten portion, they all had to be handwritten. They cannot be typed. So that's pretty much how um that's pretty much what students do every week. So we are very heavy heavily rely on the handouts and the videos in order for in order for you to be able to do the homework assignments. So if you click on any week, you're gonna see this exact the same thing. Okay, handouts, 
videos in two different format, all your homework and your drop boxes. All right, let's go to the very last week. The very last week is a sh um, is a short week. July 27 is the last day of the class, and that's on a Thursday. So everything got to be due um, by Thursday, July 27. So there is an exam review video. So before you before you attempt the final exam, please watch the exam review. And the final exam also had both portions. So the pro the procedure would be the same. You will print or copy down what's on the handwritten portion first, open, then open the computer portion so you can do both portion back and forth. And here are your Dropbox. All right. Another thing I want to point out is all your homework assignment has a start date and a due date. Okay. The end date is set at the end of the semester. So student can make up any homework assignment at any given time before the before the class ends. So you will not need a special permission to make up any homework assignment. You just make it up um, as soon as you can. Be very aware that the um, attendance is taken based on um, your weekly submission of graded assignments. So you definitely want to at least turn in one graded assignment per week in order to be count as present. Let me go through the course information. All right, the welcome syllabus video is also under course information. These are the things that you will need um, throughout the semester. The syllabus is also posted here. My contact information is posted here as well. The best way to communicate between you and I is using D2L instant message. You can also email me from D2L, but when I reply back to you, you will need to check your student NETC email. Um, you can call me during my office hour or you can text me um, to my Google Voice number. All right. You will not need to purchase any textbook for this class. Uh, we are using Open Education Resource Textbook. I use this book for reference. How to upload your handwritten assignment. So some homework has um, handwritten portion and you also got notes that you need to upload. So the notes that you took is different than the homework handwritten portion is two different types of written as handwritten assignment. So this video basically show you how you can upload um, your handwritten assignment into D2L. Basically, the idea is once you finish um, taking the notes or writing down the handwritten portion of the homework, you take pictures of them and then email yourself those pictures. Go to a computer and save those pictures from your email to the computer so you can actually upload them into the Dropbox. So this video shows you how to do that. How to use graphical equation. Um, we, you, will, you will need to enter a lot of mathematical symbols in this class. So here's a video on how to use graphical equation. And I will, and I will also show you how to use graphical equation at the end of this video when I go over your syllabus homework. How to view assignment feedback. So if you have a question that you that that um that you did not get a correct, I will provide feedbacks. This video show you how you can actually find those feedbacks. Toward the end of the semester, you might have several assignments missing. So this video show you how you can um where do you need to go to find your missing assignments? How to use Zoom? Just a quick video on how uh, what you need to do on your computer to set up the Zoom if you want to meet with me in Zoom. This video um, show you how to log in to your student self-service and your student NETC email from a computer. Um, if you have questions about the homework and, and cannot get up with me, you can use the NetTutor. This is an online tutorial service. Um, you can make uh, appointments with the NetTutor. Uh, they, they will be able to help you as well. All right, so all that being said, let me go over the syllabus real quick. And then I will show you uh, what you need to do for the very first week, the welcome week. All right, my contact information is already posted in D2L. This is an this class is an online class. Here are the course description prerequisites. Uh, what's required is using D2L, um, using the Open Education Resource Textbook. You so you will not need to purchase anything, any textbook for this class because I'm using the Open Education Resource Textbook for reference. 
uh, graphing calculator will be required for this class. If you do not have a graphing calculator, see if you can borrow one from family or friends. Okay, but the, we will do a lot of graphing in this class. So graphing calculator is a definite requirement. And right, here are your course objective learning outcome. All right, so each week, like I said earlier, you will print or copy your lecture handouts, watch lecture video and take notes on the lecture handout. You just print it or copy, complete both portions of a homework, upload your homework handwritten and portion into the correct Dropbox. And of course, um, upload your lecture notes into the correct Dropbox for the week. So remember, every week you only need to turn in one of them and the name and which one to turn in, the, the name of the Dropbox tell you which one to turn in, to upload. There are three graded assignments in this class, homework, note taking, and the final exam at the end of the semester. All right, a little bit more about the homework. Okay, topical homework are posted in D2L and the questions are on both computer and on paper, which is the handwritten portion. If the homework have both portions, then you are required to first print or copy down the handwritten portion before opening the computer portion. Once the handwritten portion is printed or copied and the computer portion is open, then you will go back and forth between the two portions to complete the topical homework. After completing both portions, you will first submit the computer portion and then upload the handwritten portion into the correct Dropbox. Both portions will actually be graded at the same time. So if the handwritten portion is not uploaded after the computer portion is graded, then all the handwritten portion of the homework will, will have to will have counted as incorrect. Okay. So the grades for the handwritten portion will be entered inside the computer portion. So uh, once I grade your so once I graded your um, homework, I'm not going to go back and regrade it again. So you cannot submit the computer portion first this week and then wait two weeks later and submit the handwritten portion because I'm grading both portion at the same time. So once I once I grade your computer portion, that's it. Um, that that's all the grading I will do for that for you for that topic of homework. Okay. So make sure doesn't matter if you're turning your homework on time or if you're turning your homework late. Make sure you're turning both portion at the same time. So when I grade on Monday, when I begin to do grading on Monday, okay, I will actually see both of your portion, okay? I will actually grade both your portion at the same time, okay? So just be very aware that um, don't just submit the computer portion trying to trying to say, you know, you know, you were present for the week, but then you actually didn't turn in any handwritten portion, okay? So if you so while I'm grading your computer portion and the handwritten portion is not there for that particular homework, then everything on the handwritten portion will be counted as incorrect. All the homework only has one attempt and it will be counted as weekly attendance and I do not drop any homework grade. All right, there are selected um, topical lecture notes each week for you to take while watching the lecture video and you're required to upload the notes into the correct Dropbox in D2L. Okay, so for the notes that you need to upload, please write your name and the date that you watch lecture video on the top right hand corner of every page you upload. Your weekly submission of the notes taken will be counted for, will be count for attendance. All right, final exam is at the end of semester. Again, I, I just, as I showed you earlier, your final exam has both portions, okay, handwritten and computer portions. So you just follow the same procedure as with the homework. Here are the grading rubric for the handwritten portion and the computer portion. And here are the standardized grading system. All right, outline, weekly outline. So for the very first week, the welcome week, there's a syllabus homework that you that you need to submit. Okay, if you do not submit this syllabus homework, that means you are actually not coming to the class. That means you, you actually don't want to take the class. So you'll be dropped for, you'll be dropped from the class as a no-show that it's basically saying like you never show up for class and there's also a discussion as well a quick introduction of yourself to the classmates so the outline um outlines um basically is, is what you see on the table of content in d2l it tells you the topic that will be covered for the week and it also tell you what are the homework assignments on july 3rd july 9th is your independence day week um, there is no homework due that week so if you do have a lot of missing homework, uh, missing assignments, this will be a good way to make it up. 
All right, attendance policies for no show. So if you do not submit, okay, or the syllabus homework after the first week of class begin, then you will actually be dropped as a no show. Simply means you never show up for class. Now, if you do submit the syllabus homework, then you'll be bound by the following attendance requirements. So students must log in and complete one great activity for each week to be counted as present. So a lot of times students just simply didn't do the homework, just go ahead and press submit. But that particular homework is nothing is, you know, everything is on the handwritten portion. So once you submit that homework, you know, begin on Monday, I will, I will start grading. So when I grade your homework, when I grade the computer portion with no handwritten portion um, uploaded, then everything on the handwritten portion will be counted as incorrect. So make sure, doesn't matter if you're late or turning your homework on time, make sure both portion, okay, make, make sure you, make sure both portion is there, okay, you know, in D2L when I begin to grade on every Monday. All right, so if you, if you fail to turn, um, submit a greater, a greater homework or a greater assignment for two weeks or 14 consecutive days, then you will be dropped from the class with an excessive absence, okay? So be very careful. If you do receive federal financial aid, um, you gotta be very careful that you um, being dropped from the class for excessive absence or withdraw from a class, okay? Those two, those two things can affect your financial aid. All right, here's a withdrawal, discussion etiquettes. Um, student with disability, if you do have a document disability and require accommodation, please contact the Dean of Student Service. He or she will provide guidance regarding to your official documentation of disability and accommodation of needs. All right, so here is your academic dishonesty and honesty policies. FERPA, the Family Education Rights and Privacy Act statement basically saying that your, your education your educational record is actually being protected by this federal law. So it's not like your parents can just email me or call me asking about your grades or your attendance, okay, because of FERPA. All right, so that's pretty much it for um, for the syllabus. So what I'm gonna do next is to show you um, uh, what you need to put down for your syllabus homework. So under the welcome week, click on the syllabus homework. If you want to attend, if you want to continue this class, please um, click on syllabus homework. And I will tell you what answer to put in here. All right, so number question number one, consider the following questions. It'll be easier to write down the answer before entering inside the box below. So three, so a lot of homework has this direction on it um, in, the, in, the, in the future. So whenever you see this direction, I, you know, I would like you to write down the answer on a piece of paper so you can enter them in the, in the box, okay? Makes it a little bit easier. Whenever you see this phrase, please use graphical equation to enter answers, okay? I need you to click on the plus sign here, click on equation, click on graphical equation. So whenever it's asking you to use graphical equation to enter answers, please do so. If you don't, then I'm not even gonna look at your answer. I automatically count your answer as incorrect. So for number, so for number one, please, for, um, please tell me what is your best phone number to get in contact with you. And I will only contact you in the, using this number if you know for registration purpose, or if you have not turning a graded assignment for two, for fourteen days in a row, then I will actually text you and asking you what's going on. So tell me, um, so give me your best contact number and click on insert. All right. So for the for number two here, you want to press enter and then open up another graphical equation to enter your answers. So every, every parts within that question is one graphical equation. Because if you enter a lot of answers, on the one graphical equation, sometimes your answer will not show up uh, once you click on insert. All right, the phone number you provided in number one, is it a home phone? Is it a home phone number? Is it a cell, home, or work number? Please tell me which number you provide me with. All right, number two, what are the best practice when using D2L? So this answer is very specific. Please just enter these for, um, for, for question number two. 
number one, please use a computer or a laptop instead of mobile device. Mobile device screen is very is very small. Therefore, your mobile device is not gonna is not gonna show you the graphical equation. It's not gonna show us this plus sign where you can use the graphical equation. Please use please use Google Chrome. Google Chrome um, DTO is best compatible with Google Chrome. Uh, make sure your computer or laptop has um, has Word document. So as you as you saw earlier, um, all the lecture handouts are in Word document. So uh, it'll be great if your com computer or home or laptop has a Word document. So you can just download the download the lecture handout and just print it from the Word document. If you do not have Word document on your computer, you can actually visit the office.com. This is a website where you can access your student NETC email on a computer and download the Word document onto your computer from office.com. I right, use graphical equation to enter answers, of course. Whenever it's asking you to, please use graphical equation to enter your answers. All right, what is the last day of the class? The last day of the class is July 27, 2023. Can you email your instructor using personal email? The answer is no, because if you use a personal email to email, and um, if you use a personal email to email me, uh, most of the time you will go into a spam. All right, some homework has both computer and hidden portions. Which portion should student open and download first? Always open and download the handwritten portion first. Have it have a download or open, right? Or copy it down or print it first. And and then open the computer portion. All right. If number question number six, if the if the questions are not on the handwritten portion, where are rest of the questions? Rest of the question got to be on the computer portion. Question number seven, both portions of homework will be graded at the same time. If the handwritten portion is not uploaded after the computer portion is graded, then all the handwritten portion will be counted as incorrect. Now, right, what are the three types of graded assignment in this class? Homework, note taken, and final exam. Question number nine, what is the last assignment need to be completed for this class, which is your 110 final exam? Question number 10. Any student who failed to complete a graded activity for 14 consecutive days will be dropped from the class. All right, question number 11. All right. <clears throat> Who can, who can a student contact about withdrawing from a class? So this answer are very specific. So please contact the enrollment center at 843-921-6900, or you can call the same number and try to get in contact with staffs at the student service, or you can simply contact the instructor using your NETC email, d 2 l instant message, or text message, okay? So just um, please enter this for question number 11. Question number 12, let me show you how to enter um, these mathematical symbols using the graphical equation. So for number one, so I'm using a computer, so I'm using a keyboard as well. So for number one, so I'm using my keyboard, number one, open close parenthesis is this one. So we're under the very first tab right now, okay? Comma, all right, open and close brackets, comma, oops. Open and close brace is right here. All right, after the first after the first answer, insert. All right, press enter, and then open up another graphical equation for number two. Let me slide this over. All right, open parentheses, close brackets. So that will, I will use my keyboard. So open parentheses, shift nine, space, close bracket, bracket is right above the enter. All right, the infinity sign, so that'll be right here. So we're still under the first tab. Union sign right here. All right, number three. 
All right, a uh, fraction bar with exponent. So I'm gonna start with a fraction bar, three X. So I'm using a keyboard. All right, All right. exponent squared and a denominator four Y raising to the third. All right, I'm gonna put my cursor right next to a fraction bar, comma, space. Open um, X plus one whole thing squared. So I'm gonna start out with open close parenthesis in a parenthesis X plus one. Place the cursor right next to the parenthesis, then exponent squared. All right, number four. So let me open another graphical equation. Number four, not equal to. So a lot of students forget about this one. So the second tab on the top, the very top left hand corner, a box with a slash over it. That's not. And inside that box, just press equal. So I'm using a keyboard. This is the equal. All right, comma. All right, f of x, f, letter f on the keyboard, open close parenthesis, x. All right, cube root of x squared. So this is a square root. So I'm back to the first tab. The, the one below it is any roots higher than a square. Cube root. In the inside the root x squared. All right, number five. All right, log with a base two of x. So go to the very last tab on the top, and the with the log with the subscript, log with a base two of x. So you will enter this toward the end of semester comma. This is an ln, natural log, ln. So it's right here, natural log of x. So it's still the last tab. There you go. All right. So when you get done with the syllabus homework, you can press submit. So if you want to proceed in this class, you got to submit your syllabus homework. Otherwise, you will be dropped with no show. So again, thank you so much for watching this welcome and syllabus video. If you have any questions about this class, please don't hesitate to uh, reach out to me using the D2L instant message, email me, or you can text me. All right, thank you so much. We will keep in touch as the semester goes along. Bye-bye. Mm,